Alright, so let's look at how to change rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. Uh, th this one here, this shows you how to go from polar to rectangular. I've got videos on that, you can check those out. But the one that we're doing in this video is rectangular to polar. So we'll use the fact that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared and tangent theta is equal to y over x. Alright, so that's what we're going to use. And uh, just remember r and theta, that's the polar coordinate. x and y, that's the rectangular coordinate. And what I'm going to do is I've got several examples. And each example will have its own video because they, you know, they might take a little while to do on some of them. But here's the examples. So this will be video one, video or example one, example two, example three, four, and then five. So what I've done is each point, you know, I've done a point in each quadrant, and then this video here, th these uh, these points lie on the on the x and y axis, so you can check those out too. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's look at example one here. So we want to convert the point one negative one to polar coordinates. All right, so what I like to do is just go ahead and plot the point real quick. All right, so let's let's come over here and I guess we'll do it over here. Let's plot this point, and if we plot the point one negative one. And I know one, you would go over a little and then come down just a little. But let's just go ahead and what we're more concerned about is that we're in the fourth quadrant. Okay. So there's the point plotted. Okay. I've got to find r and I've got to find theta. All right. So remember that r, we know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay, So r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. All right. That's all that is. This is just Pythagorean theorem. That's it. See if we bring this up and we've got x is 1, y is negative 1 and we know that's a right angle and we're finding r here, that's a right that's a right angle. r squared equals x squared plus y squared. That's all that is. All right, so let's get r. So r is the square root of 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. And so r is, that's going to be the square root. That's 1, that's 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So r is the square root of 2. All right, now let's get theta. Okay, so there's there's different answers. Okay, there's different answers. So we know that tangent theta is equal to y over x. So that's negative one over one. So we know that tangent theta is equal to negative 1. All right. So if we look to find theta, okay, there's theta. We can see that it's an angle in the fourth quadrant. Okay. All right. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to find. Uh, two different pairs of polar coordinates as you can see in the title here okay I'm gonna find I'm gonna find a solution uh, the solution I'm gonna find is when uh, theta is positive between 0 and 360 okay so this is theta so what I need to find theta is I've got tangent theta is negative 1 well I need to find my reference angle and I'm going to label my reference angle theta sub r. Now if you remember the reference angle, okay, 
Remember your reference angle is an angle in the first quadrant. So your reference angle is equal to a positive one instead of the negative one. And so I can get theta sub r, okay, I can get that is equal to what? 45 degrees, okay, because we know the tangent of 45 is 1. So keep in mind this is our 45 degrees. That's our reference angle. So that's going to tell us what? That theta is equal to what? Well, that's equal to 360 minus 45. So theta, that's going to be uh, 360 minus 45 is 315. Okay, and so that's theta there. So my polar coordinates, that's square root of 2, 315 degrees. Now, this is not the only answer. Okay, there's there's several different answers. Okay, but I know I like I just like to put the answer where R is positive and my angle is positive. Now, let's look at another answer. Well, another answer would be square root of 2. Okay, square root of 2. Now, notice with 315, I rotated around 315. That's a positive angle. Well, if I come out here and I'm out here, my radius square root of 2, and then if I rotate back this way, Okay, if I rotate back this way, 45 degrees, I've rotated how much? A negative 45. So I could put square root of 2, negative 45 degrees. Okay, now let me show you one more. Okay, and, and I know I said I was only going to do two, but I'll show you this real quick. Let's say that instead of going square root of 2, what if I went negative square root of 2? Okay, so my point would be negative square root of 2. And then, now remember, here's our, here's our angle. And we know this is 45. Okay, so if I, if I rotate from here to here, you see that? From there to there, well, that's what? 180 minus 45. You see that? So 180 minus 45, that would be what? 135. Okay. Now, I mean, yeah, this is an answer. More than likely you wouldn't put that one, but it is an answer and it is correct. And, and look, also, if we went out this way, we could rotate back this way. We could rotate, we could go out negative square root of 2 and rotate what? 180 plus 45 okay so the 180 plus 45 that's 225 but look make sure we rotate it this way that's 180 plus 45 but that would be negative 225 okay so so ho hopefully just by showing you all of these different ones that this uh, th th there's several different answers and hopefully it'll help you understand it better you know but you, you've got to understand how to plot your polar coordinates okay so thanks for watching check out the other videos sorry this one got a little long uh, give me a like share and subscribe and see you later